If you don't mind, just because my heart's yes. about to be there, do you mind if I pray for you? Yes, please. Okay, so, and all those that you that are prayers, would you join with me in this prayer? Father, I thank you for this man that you have raised up in this moment, in this season, for your purposes. And I pray that you would anoint him, that things aren't done just by might or by power, but by your spirit. So I ask that you would anoint President Donald Trump and give him a spirit of wisdom and understanding and insight as he moves to lead this nation back to greatness. In Jesus' name I pray. Wow, that's something you don't hear that often. It's incredible. And I appreciate that from both, from everybody. Well, he was friends with everybody. I mean, I think if you look back at Donald Trump's history, um, you know, he he last night we were at the Al Smith dinner and mm -hmm. he was right there next to Chuck Schumer. And he said to Chuck Schumer, who's obviously a Democrat senator, he said, I gave Chuck his first check ever when he was running for like assemblyman or something. So. Yeah, he That's was. why Chuck was laughing so hard. Remember we asked why Chuck was laughing so hard? Chuck, <laughs> yeah, Chuck was I, laughing, boy. I, I don't I don't I don't be liking the optics of that. Only only reason I say I don't like the optics of that is because when you hear people like Chuck Schumer say things like Trump is a threat to democracy, but then you're sitting next to him yucking it up. Why would you be yucking it up with somebody who you consider a threat to democracy? Well, you have to ask yourself that question, don't you? Maybe it's uh maybe it's all scare tactics, maybe it's a lot of fear mongering, Charlemagne. Um what I can tell you is I know Donald Trump. I have known him for 16 years, and Chuck Schumer's known him a lot longer than I have. Mm -hmm. And um, I think he knows full well he's not a threat to, to democracy. And you don't even have to take my word for it. Look at what he did when he was in the White House. Like there was never any threat to democracy when he was in the White House. Well, that and was I an would actually cool the country. Well, that you can argue that a lot of different ways. Peacefully and patriotically make your voices heard is not an attempted coup. What was a coup was when they replaced Joe Biden with Kamala Harris, who was not elected by anyone to run for president. There are 14 million people who voted for Joe Biden to be the nominee for the Democrat Party. And if you want to talk about a real threat to democracy, I would argue that. Uh, I'd like to ask if I might Michael Watley to come up and say a few words. He's been working about 29 hours a day, I would say, on average. Right? He's been working very hard. And uh, please come up and say a few words, Mike. Thank you, Mr. President. You know, as a son of Western North Carolina, I was in Watauga County with Samaritan's Purse recently and got a chance to see the devastation uh, that all of these communities have hit. I think it is tremendously important that you are here. I think that uh, you uh, and your focus on making sure that Western North Carolina is not going to be forgotten is absolutely critical. I am so thankful for the thousands upon thousands of volunteers that have come into Western North Carolina to help these families, to help every family here in Western North Carolina. You cannot put words on what a value it is. And uh, the fact that this is a strong community, this is a community of faith, and this is a community of family. And North Carolina, Western North Carolina is absolutely going to be back they are going to be stronger than ever. And with your leadership, we will make sure that this part of the state, that this part of the country is never forgotten and will be back again. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you.